Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at tech draw in under 15 minutes. We're going to be teaching the basics in there to get you up and running. We're going to be looking at section views, dimensioning and how to get the individual views onto the page just to get you started. We're going to be using a simple house and using that as our object for our technical drawing. So I hope you enjoyed the channel and let's have a look at this workbench. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. So first create the model in the part design and it's just a basic house with a number of features on here. So we've got pads, pockets for the windows and the doors and we just filleted off the top just to add a curvature there for the technical drawing so we can go into curves. So to start with we need to go over to the workbench tech draw. Now this comes with FreeCAD, it's already packaged in there and we can start a technical drawing from in here. We're going to be using the navigation cube a lot in this workbench to get our technical drawings into our page. So to start, we need to create a page. So we can come up to tech draw and insert a default page or use the icon on the toolbar, this one here. This will create a page for us. Now you can see we've got the standard template and we've got this item in the bottom right hand corner to add our title and subtitle. This is an SVG, so we can create our own. Now if we want to change the template, if we come over to our tree view and span this out a bit, we can see our page has been added and in here if we drill in span this out we can see the template now inside the template when you come down to the data tab you'll see a number of properties in here and if we come down to the template this one here and press the three dots in the end we can load the template so you can see our template is coming from our temp directory and i want a standard landscape svg template which is just blank. If we scroll down, you can see we've got all of the templates in here and I want an A4 blank template. This one here, and we can open that up. That's given us an A4 blank background. To get your items on screen, what we need to do is come over to the actual FreeCAD itself and we need to position this in a view. So we're gonna be using the navigation cube over the right hand side here, or the different views on the toolbar. So we can change these views to what we see fit. I'm going to start by bringing this round to the rear where the door is and clicking on the edge of the cube, this edge here, and that puts me into this view. And this is the view I'm gonna to add to my page. We must select the last action in the list because this action will be added to our technical drawing. So if I click fill it, that will be added to the technical drawing with the next button I press. So now we can actually add that and we come up to the insert view button or come over to technical drawing, insert view. If we jump over to the page now, what you'll see is the view has been added. And if we look on the left hand side, you'll see the view here. Notice that we have points on the vertexes that are coming through and the label is quite small so you see it's saying view down the bottom that can be changed by clicking on the view coming over to the label and changing this I'm just going to type in ISO view here it's very small so what we need to do is set some presets in here so changing the preferences, come over to edit, preferences. And if we scroll down on the left hand side, you'll see the technical drawing. Click that. You can set the label size. So I'm going to set this to 10. And come over to scale. This is where the vertex scale is set. So I don't want a vertex scale on here. So I'm just going to set that to zero and apply that. There are other settings in here if we look at general and we can see where our default template is coming from so we can change that to the blank template if we so desire and our template directory so we can change that. 
and also add templates of our own to that template directory. Let's hit OK. Nothing will change just yet, but there is a refresh button on the toolbar, which allows us to redraw the page or tech draw, redraw page. See the points now vanished and our ISO view text is larger. If we change any of those settings again, then we must use the redraw page. We can place this by clicking and dragging into position and we can add additional views. But remember, we have to come back to the tab, set our view. So the next view I want is from the rear. Make sure the fillet, our last action is selected. And we can even go over to the page and come up to the insert view. And that will be placed in there. The view will be placed in there. Notice our view has been placed upside down. If this happens, just delete the view, come back in and just move the actual object and what will happen when we come back to the insert view making sure the fillet has been selected insert view come back to the page the object will be around the correct way we can now place that object in the correct position we can even scale the object so we click on our view you can see we've got view 01 which is the rear of the house we can scale this by using the scale and pressing up and hitting control R. So using the up and down arrow keys and hitting control R, or I can use the arrow keys and just click off. You notice the tick by the rear view, just hit redraw and that's now redrawn. So how do we add dimensions in here? I'm just gonna scale this up and what we're going to do is start adding some dimensions. We're going to be using the toolbar along the top here. The first one we're going to look at is creating a dimension along a single edge. So we click our edge and click the insert horizontal dimension because this is a horizontal line. If I click the other one and insert a vertical dimension, they'll insert that dimension there. If we want to span from say the top, this curve here, to the bottom, then we need to control click those lines and insert the reference dimension that we need. So this one will be a vertical dimension and that will span that length. We can move these out of the way and also move this down the bottom if we so desire. Curvatures such as this one here, we need to use the radius dimension. Now we'll place a radius for that dimension there. Anything that's at an angle, such as this one, we need to use the length dimension. And say if we need to span right away across here, we need to control click one edge, control click the other, and insert a length dimension. And you can see that's been inserted there. Shading is very easy to do, so we can click the item that we want shaded and use the hatching, hatch a face using an image. If we click on that, then we get a pattern that we need to select. We can use the points at the end and select the pattern there. This is also available from the preferences, so we can change whereabouts this is and add our own. So these are all SVG files. So I can say line and open that, and our hatching has been added change the line color, the pattern, scale, etc. And hit OK. There is rotation, so if we click on one of these and select the rotation, which is here, we can actually rotate this. And using Control R, we can place this at a certain angle. If we want to do a section view, what we need to do is select the angle that we want. So I'm going to select the left and insert that one. So click the fillet and we're gonna insert that, insert a view. That will place the view on the page. I'm just gonna delete this ISO view. Just give us enough room and bring this up. Now to do a section view, we click the view and come up to this icon here, insert section view or tech draw, insert section view. We'll get 
another window appear on the left hand side here and we can see the section orientation that we need to use so we can select from looking up looking down looking left or looking right so if i select from looking down you can see that section has been placed in there and we can see this line that's gone through that section view there this line here we can change that by adjusting the appropriate angles along here so we'll change the Z say 10 and what will happen is that our dotted line will move and our section view will change so you can see how that's been sectioned through there and it's taking the door from the left hand side here once we're happy with our section view we'll just hit OK and that section view has been added and again we can come down we can see all the views on the left hand side here and we can change the name another thing to remember is that from the tree we can actually select anything that's in here to create a technical drawing from so if I clear all this off and say select the pad and select a view and insert view come back to the page you can see the view that's been inserted differs and that's because we selected that pad there if I come back and make that pad visible this is the view that we've imported so we've actually imported that feature there also we can have custom views so if we wanted something like this we can come into the page make sure that pad is selected making sure the view is at the correct viewpoint and we just insert that so we look at the page and we can see our view has been changed we can change the sizes of each of these views by control clicking on them and to change them all at once we come down to the scale and set the scale say 2 click off and those have changed the page is actually pulled from left to right by clicking on the page and moving that and we use normal zoom in and zoom out as stated in the controls that you selected down here the navigation controls I'm on touchpad and we'll still use the zoom in and zoom out for that control for the touchpad so how do you export this to say a DFX as SVG or a PDF even well that's pretty simple we've got our page here I've got nothing on there and what I'm going to do is just add a few views to this so I'm going to select the fillet and we're going to add that view and we'll select some others as well other viewpoints I'm just going through adding them so you can see how quickly I'm adding them to the document and we should have them all on the page and we can move these into position where we want and once we've done maybe we want some text in there so we can place a notation there this one here insert notation also available tech draw notations insert notations and we can give that some text so we come over to the notation over here here it is here just click on it and place in your text place it somewhere and to export out as PDF we go to file export PDF and we can place it wherever we want so I'm going to place it in my downloads and then when we open the file you can see our plan has been exported in PDF format other export formats are available from the toolbar so there's SVG there and DXF or TechDraw export as SVG or export as DXF there so that's it that's a very quick introduction to the tech draw workbench to get your technical drawings up and running in under 15 minutes there are other tools in there that you can use but it's beyond the scope of this tutorial this is just to get you up and running hope you're enjoying this channel hope you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you again soon
If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.